Hello everyone. In this episode of the Action RPG series, I am going to work on how to collect this great sword. So, this is implemented through uh, using the gameplay ability system. So, first we will create a collectible class for the great sword and then we will create a gameplay ability to collect the great sword and attach it to the back of the character and then do the necessary changes that in a way that is compatible with all other systems that are already present in the game so yeah this is what you are going to work on today and before i get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patreon page i'll leave the link in description below and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series i'm doing so you can watch all other episodes as well from my in my channel i'll leave the link to the full playlist also in the description below and let's get back to today's tutorial all right so first of all in order to collect weapons we have created this collectible bp collectible sword and bp collectible shield uh, blueprints which we can drag and drop in the level and here if i want to test this let me put back the player start location a little bit and here now that the player already have a weapon we can't pick it up but we can change it if i want if I let me open the player blueprint right and here I have assigned default weapons collect sword and collect shield let me remove this then if I play now you see we are in the world with no weapons and if I walk through this blueprint you can see I can collect the weapon. So now what I want to do is giving the ability to collect a great sword. So for that here collectibles I'll create let me open this first and what are the, and figure out what are the things we need okay here we have a couple of variables first thing is this mesh that i would import into the project you can use any great sword you like i am planning to use this this great sword mesh okay so yeah as i said i'm gonna use this mesh and now let's go back here what else we need if we check these uh, variables we need a ability class default is ga collect sword i think we would need uh, another gameplay ability to collect great sword and item tag weapons dot sword so we would need something like weapons dot great sword and granted abilities this is GA equip sword, GA unequip sword. So equivalently, we would need to create GA equip great sword, GA unequip great sword. May perhaps we would be able to create subclasses of the same abilities and change animations of whatever that we need to customize to match it for a great sword. So we will look into that. Okay, so to get started, let's create a child blueprint class from collectible sword I'll name it pp collectible red sword and change this okay so let's change this to red sword first right and let instead of this let me drag and drop 
the right sort but if i try to go through it what happens is the small sword is get collected see because we didn't change anything else all right so now what do we need to change ability class we need to change an item tag this is easy let's change this here let's add a new tag weapons red sword and a new tag and select that red sword okay and the ability class we need to change and granted abilities so let's check out this ability class ga collect sword so here what happens is this collectible actor class is spawned and attached to the character using this collect weapon blueprint uh, interface function that is implemented through bpi weapon wielder so if i go to find references you can see it is implemented in the well here in the bp third person person base class all right so gi collect sort let's create a child blueprint and i'll name it collect great sword so now we can change collectible actor class and grounded abilities for now i don't want to change the gameplay queue tag so i'll keep the same queue and let's check out this bb sort okay just like before let's create a child and here one thing we have this get weapon type it simply returns the weapon type sort but i'll promote this to variable and it is sort now so that i can change the create sword oh you also we need to change the mesh and now we can change the weapon type here we only have sword and shield okay that means we need to add under weapons a new one To a new option great sword close now for the bp great sword we have the option great sword available okay and what else mm, for now that's all i'll keep everything else same now bp great sword under ga collect sword collectible actor class i'll assign now bp great sword all right now let's test and see what happens it's still the same okay uh, let's open the collectible great sword and here ability class should be GA collect great sword. Yeah, now it is collected, but as you can see, it does not match the way it appears. So, now that's something we need to fix here under collect weapon. Now we have great sword option because I added the great sword option to the weapons enumeration so here we need to give what socket we need to attach the great sword blueprint for that let me open my mesh and 
let me remove all attached assets so cut back i don't think attaching the great sword here would be a good idea because that's too big and it appears like this so let me remove this and add a new socket i'll call it socket back upper and here what are the options related with scale 0 0.8 i'll copy the same yeah so yeah and the uh, relative rotation but let's change it according to the needs of the great sword okay so let's move it like this and this way I think it's better like this okay now let me copy this socket name and we'll just go through the leg when the character moves we can rest here now as the socket for the great sword i'll give socket back upper now let's try okay so it looks fine great so now we can uh collect the great sword and one more thing if the character already have a shield then we should not allow character to collect the great sword so perhaps collect sword here activation block tags I'll add shield as well to test it let me drag and drop a shield why is it not connected oh sorry not bp shield i need to drag and drop collectible shield okay now as you can see bp uh, great sword is not being collected but if i directly go there you can see uh, great sword is collected and for the shield is also collected so either we need to avoid this or that or maybe this is fine but i'm not sure yet so that is something we need to handle later on and also let's say if we already have a shield and if i go there maybe we need to have the option to switch between the shield and the great sword that is also something we need to address and also of course equipping the great sword and using that in combat and using that for ai and pcs so those are the things that i wish to address in upcoming episodes and for now i'm gonna stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye